The family is a very first institution that was created by God to fulfill his agenda on earth. God needs men to work. He cannot come down to the earth and begin to do things here. If he does that, he has broken the law of nature which states that only beings with physical bodies can operate on the earth and God is a spirit. He wouldn't be able to function on the earth because he is a spirit being. Demons and foul spirits also obey this law and that is why they try as much as possible to inhabit people's bodies to do their nefarious activities. That is why you need to allow the love of God to abide in your family so that unity will abound much more. When unity is at work in your home, the devil and his cohorts will have no breathing space in your family and God, in turn, will be able to enforce his agenda on earth via members of your family. And the word of God says in Psalms 133 verse 1 that it is a good and pleasant thing when God's people work together in unity. The Bible also admonishes you to bear with one another and to also forgive each other if there is any offense. We will be praying together for the peace of God to serenade your home. Do that in faith, especially when you're in challenge. Let's pray. I thank you, Lord, for the unity and peace that is at work in the life of your children. Thank you, Father, that the cord of unity has not been broken in your children's life. Let your name be extolled. And in the name of Jesus, I pray that the love of God will burn in your life and your family, and this will help you to live in unity. I pray that the devil will not attack the peace of God that is at work in your life and family in the name of Jesus. Romans 12, 18 says that we should live in peace with one another. I pray that everyone in your family will live at peace with each other. There will not be strife, chaos and confusion in your family in the name of Jesus. According to Ephesians 4, 3, that we should keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. I pray that your family will keep the unity of the Spirit by peace reigning in your life and your family in the name of Jesus. I pray that everyone in your family will play their roles effectively so as to foster peace and unity in the name of Jesus. I pray that the spirit of unity will brood over your family and your life. Every agent of the devil that is sent to cause this unity in your family is exposed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. The agenda of the wicked ones to cause marital problems in your home is annulled in the name of Jesus. The grace and mercy of the Lord Jesus will be at work in your family and it will increase the bond of togetherness in the name of Jesus. I send back all the arrows of conflict and disunity sent at your family. And in the name of Jesus, I pray that the will of God will prevail in your family and this will further strengthen the bond of love, peace and unity in your family. The Bible says in Colossians 3.14 that we should put on love for it binds all other virtues together in unity. I pray that all the members of your family will constantly put on love in all situations and circumstances in the name of Jesus. And I pray for your family also that it will be a model for other families because of the unity it exudes in the name of Jesus. Corinthians 1 verse 10b says that we should be in unity in thoughts and in the mind. I pray that all members of your family would have the mindset of unity no matter any circumstance in the name of Jesus. I pray that the storms around would not distract your family and cause disunity in the name of Jesus. And I pray that no member of your family will be influenced negatively outside which might hamper the unity of your family. I decree that all the devices of the wicked ones that they have set to cause disunity and chaos in your family are destroyed in the name of Jesus. 
just as how Christ is in unity with the church. That is the same way your family will be in unity with Jesus and with themselves in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You are free to drop your prayer requests and testimonies in the comment section. And do well to like, share and subscribe to our channel. God bless you. Amen.